Thanks for checking back in with the Backyard Broadheads. The Barnett XP370 that I just got, there's something wrong with it. It's going back to Barnett. They're going to replace it. Their customer service was pretty good. Initially, I just tightened the hood screw for the trigger box. I think that's what it's called. And that took care of my problem, but then it started acting up again. So now we are going to be testing these custom bolts from John Smith with the Barnett Raptor FX2. And if you want to be entered for a chance to win a stirrup hanger for the Raven R500, those details are in the description below. All right, here's our Barnett Raptor FX2. Here are our custom arrows from John Smith. So down there is our target. And the big wooden thing is a mirror. So we're gonna use one camera. We're gonna film the arrows coming in, but you'll still be able to see me shooting. And the arrows are gonna be coming straight at you, so I think it's gonna look pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at our group. Okay, so not really looking for hitting the bullseye, just looking at the group. If you could take all these, put them onto one target, they would be pretty tight. So I would say these two would pretty much be touching. This one here would be touching also. This one would be maybe one arrow's width away. Um, this one here, maybe one arrow's width away. And then this one is a little bit high, but still close to the group. So those were custom arrows from John Smith that was shooting with the Barnett Raptor FX2. It was 40 yards. There was an annoying on and off breeze blowing to the left. And I think when you have that breeze, of course blowing to the left could shift it to the left, but I think also it can slow your arrow down and cause you to hit, and cause you to hit a little bit low. The scope is a Horton, I think it's called like Malt A range or multi-line or something. It's a Horton multi-line scope. I'll put links for these products in the description below. And that's like a $30 scope. But if you're shooting a crossbow with 300 to 330 feet per second, it's a pretty good scope. It doesn't come with lights, it's just basic. I think it does collect a decent amount of light and it seems to stay on point. Um, anytime you are sighting in with a Chinese scope, most scopes are made in China, sometimes you will adjust down and your impact point might go down to the left or just to the left. When that happens, say if you're high right and you have to go down and to the left, what I find is that if you're adjusting your elevation and windage at the same time, that with those Chinese scopes, a lot of times they'll react better if you're doing both of the settings instead of just one at a time. One more note about the trigger on the Raptor FX2. It does have travel. It is still a good trigger, but I have to pull it at a medium to fast speed to get accurate results out of this crossbow. Unlike with the Raven, it has a super light trigger, very little travel. I can pull that one real slow and just let it surprise me when it goes off and it shoots very well. Both triggers are good though. From Backyard Broadheads, these are heart drop hangers. There's a heart drop 5-in-1 for most Raven crossbows and the heart drop 5-in-1 R26 for the Raven R26. You can check them out on eBay or from BackyardBroadheads.com. Both links are in the description below. 
This is another accessory for your Raven crossbow, the 4-in-1 light. It attaches and detaches in seconds. It's an extremely level bipod. It's a hanger. It's a kickstand. It helps you with caulking and decaulking your crossbow. It helps eliminate death wobble from decaulking. And then whenever you're in your tree stand, it helps stabilize the crossbow on your lap. And you can also rest it up on the shooting rail to keep your crossbow off of the rail and protect your crossbow.